Hi, what we're going to demonstrate today is how quickly we can get the Viper Cloud Platform site up and running and then deploy an agent to get a device protected. So after you purchase, you get a, a little email like this that says, uh, thank you for signing up. You email your admin address and what you do is you click here to continue setup. It's already provisioned as I did it. You just, just click here. It would just have you log in with your email address and you get a quick pop up that says you can set up policies or deploy agents right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to deploy an agent. You have the option to create a policy installer, invite other users. And what you can do is you can actually view your other invitations. You send out an email with the actual installer and they will get that and they can just launch it directly from the email. But what we're going to do is we'll just download it from here. Once downloaded, we'll run it directly. Accept the EULA. Next, ask you where to install. Now, depending on your speed, your bandwidth, every system is different if you're doing it in a VM or not. It will depend on how long it actually takes to install. Here's the actual dashboard as it's installing. You can take around, poke around and look. As you can see, there's no data filled in here yet. No devices found yet. Oh, I forgot to click that down there. So that was probably, that was sitting there for a good 15 seconds. You go ahead and you just, once you click that down there, I need a USC permission. That shouldn't take too long. And once this is done, we can go ahead and pull back up and you will see how devices will start checking in and getting defs. Boom, it finished. Go to devices. As you can see, there's the, my PC. It's not installed yet because it's actually going to get defs. And as you can see down here, We open it. I just finishing the installation. It's never been scanned. It's shown this side to save a protection because until it gets defs, up to date defs. If you want, you could just go ahead and directly click that, but it's really doing it in the background as you can see. And once that finishes, that'll have up-to-date defs, and you'll see how the machine has checked in. And like I said, this all depends on your bandwidth and your internet speed. One thing very unique about Viper is it stores a locally cached copy of definitions. So the initial def download takes 
maybe a fraction longer, but once that's there, then the incrementals that come down daily, keep it up to date. And so that's in case your NIC gets turned off or if a hacker got in your system and turned the internet off thinking they were gonna evade AV. Um, what's nifty about Viper is we actually can protect the user with the internet off and the NIC actually turned off. This should be done any minute. And like I said, that's just the whole reason for the first download to get it actually the first full def on your system. While that's doing that, and that's almost done, you can see how it's in the workstation policy. If we wanted to, we could create a custom policy because it's going to drop in there automatically, which you just go up here, add policy. We'll just call it test. You can accept the default lo locations and the, the subtasks, all that is designed by default and if you ever want to go back and customize it you can do it later on ap browser email protection threat handling firewall and ids but literally 10 seconds if you accept the defaults create policy now you have a test policy and what you can do is once this is finished defs we can actually go into the pc if you want, we could even do it now, change it to the test policy, assign it. And once that makes the next hello call, you will see that's going to be assigned in the test policy and change from default to that. And this is almost done. Definitions from this point on are blazingly fast, like I said, because we do incrementals 24 hours a day. As you can see, it already updated the policy, and it's this will be in the test policy. And there you go. So if we log back over here to the main dashboard, you see we have one device protected, one out of five seats used. Nothing needing attention because the device is up to date. You can see it's protected here. No scan, anything was done. If we want, we can initialize a scan right from here. There's one ongoing right now because it started in the system, but we wanted to do it from the console and go to device. There's one in progress here, but you could actually start and stop a scan. And there you go. That is a quick deployment of, for the first time of getting the site up and deploying an agent out. Very easy. And if we wanted to deploy more, like I said, we can invite users. If you put an email address right here. Send user which is going to be myself already install viper cloud agent boom you install now it's going to take you to download have the direct msi and the users can get the download from the email quick fast and efficient like i said besides the first uh download of devs it takes a little bit to get the overall package there uh, it's blazingly fast and anyone that uses viper cloud will be very impressed Okay, thank you for watching.